the classic Romeo and Juliet in the boat problem. It's a center of mass problem, and you need to make a reference point. So I made a reference point one meter in front of Juliet, and then from that reference point, we calculate, we take the product of each mass, Juliet's mass times her distance, the boat, mass times its distance plus Romeo times his distance divided by the total mass and the center of mass position before they switch is 2.7 meters. And I've shown, here's the first diagram, here's the second diagram when they switch. Now Juliet goes from the front of the boat down to the back of the boat and we see that now we calculate the center of mass being the mass of the boat, 81 times its distance from our reference point, 2.35, plus the collective masses of Juliet and Romeo added together times 3.7 divided by the total mass of the system. We come up with 3.19. You take the difference to get how much the boat moved towards the shore, which was 0 0.487 meters. In part B, when they meet together in the middle of the boat, all the masses are collected together right in the center of the boat, which is 2.35 meters from our reference point, which means the center of mass, because that's where all the mass is, is going to be 2.35 meters from our reference point. Since Romeo has the greatest mass, the boat moves towards him and away from the shore. I hope that answers your question. I enjoyed doing this. It's kind of fun. I'm glad I had the whiteboard, and I hope you get something out of it. Give me some feedback if you want. Have a great day.